it's crystal with pineapple papers and welcome back to a may i scrap lift you so today i am scrap lifting miranda weber so you can see her layout up there in the top it has tons and tons of pattern paper which um you know is definitely my jam she did a christmas layout um i am not um but that's kind of the fun thing is you can take the design of somebody and make it work with whatever product you want to play with. So I was feeling like I needed to play with some Maggie Holmes, um, which I'm pretty sure I feel like I could always play with Maggie Holmes, but um, I actually have two of her collections um, kind of sitting on my desk. I have Bloom and Gather, and I feel like I've kind of like gone through quite a bit of it. So. My original thought was to use Gather on this one, but then I ended up um, using Bloom. I don't know why. I just, I just, I don't know. I just went with it. Um, so her page is matted. So I matted it in kind of that blue floral. And then I took the cut apart sheet, which I never do. Um, and used it kind of as a background. Now, in Miranda's layout, uh, she has a very busy background as well, but it's black and white, so it doesn't read quite as busy. So I felt like I needed kind of that strong color to stand out kind of like hers in that um, green. And I am cropping my pictures and I just want to talk about cropping pictures just for a moment. So the pictures I have are of me and a couple girlfriends and then the top picture is the husband's and that was at our kids school um, fundraiser. It was a masquerade gala and you know we got all dressed up and we're looking pretty cute and everything but I don't know, like, I'm not a professional, like, poser, per se, so I know if you, like, stick your arm out a little bit, it makes it look a little thinner, that type of thing, but let me tell you, this is just what I do. I just chop the arm off, like, so Rachel and I's arms look way better now, because I just chopped them off, not, like, completely chopped them off, you still see a little bit, but I just, you know, slivered off a little bit of that uh, extra skin, per se. So, super fun thing with being able to crop your photo. You can definitely make yourself look better. Okay, that's my soapbox on that. And I haven't actually done a whole lot, so I guess it wasn't much of a soapbox. So, I have my semi-solid... Um, background piece, that pink, and then I took a couple of the pieces from the 6 by 6 pad and did a couple of layers behind the photos, and I pulled two pieces of chipboard off, and those were the last two pieces of that Bloom Collection chipboard sheet, which is super exciting. Like, don't you just love when you like have used it up? It's it's a little bittersweet, especially when it's like a collection that you love, but um, it just makes you feel good. It makes you feel good that, you know, you're getting these beautiful products that you absolutely love and you're getting them on a page so then you can continue to love them. So as far as the embellish it, embellishes, embellishments, I'm just going to create words tonight. Um, I am going to do some tags so you can see in Miranda's layout she has a couple of tags over off to the right and um, that is what I am going to do as well. I opened up the ephemera as well as I have a chipboard tag and then there so there's that tag there's the chipboard tag and then there's like a piece of ephemera that I don't know I guess is almost like a ticket which I thought was kind of appropriate since you do actually buy tickets to this event. So I am going to slip these on in. And I don't know if you noticed, but I am using a, a different adhesive. So I need to get a couple refills. 
I still have some, but I was kind of going through my drawer and I have a couple of like random adhesives. So um, I decided, you know what, let's, let's use those and see what happens. Um, so these ones were Sizzix and they are tape runners and uh, we got them at Creativation. And I will tell you, I'm not sure that I like them. Um, so I made this layout and now mind you, I didn't put tons and tons of adhesive on, um, but I didn't feel like I put, I didn't feel like I put less adhesive on than I normally do. And, um, when I went to take the pictures, it kind of, um, was starting to peel up and fall apart already. So I am going to have to go and do some repair on this layout already. So I have added my title with the puffy stickers. Uh, so I have one title piece that says bloom. And then um, I had that piece of ephemera that says happy. So it says happy or bloom happy. Um, and the whole point is that this is a fundraiser for the kids school and um, we do have a pretty good time. Unfortunately, there was no fundraiser this year um, due to the circumstances. Um, so, which is sad because, you know, the kids' schools need funding too. But um, that just means next year is going to be 10 times better. So I am basically sticking in this collection. And I think that I am sticking in this collection just because I have so much of it. Um, I feel like maybe at some point, if I start dwindling down my Maggie Holmes um, obsession of supplies, that um, I will start basically putting things together. So like this bloom no longer has any chipboard. So I feel like as I'm getting a little closer, I may put bloom and gather together because those are probably the two that are, they're very close and um, I think they go really well together. I do, okay, I have every Maggie Holmes collection, but like Heritage, like, I think you can only kind of pull bits and pieces. Like, that is a very different collection, which I am excited about because I have been doing quite a few um, older pictures, um, and so I think that's going to be really fun. So, since I've been jabbering, um, I just basically did two floral clusters, one at the top and one at the bottom, and that's it. So here are the close-ups. Make sure you head over to Miranda's channel. I'll leave her uh, YouTube channel and her Instagram link below so you can check her out. And it's Saturday. No, it's not Saturday. So remember to wear your crown. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.